The airwaves through the headsets fell silent as the helicopter rumbled violently, a trail of smoke zooming to the store ahead, trailing its missile. The first one hit the eastern side of the building and sent a fiery orange cloud into the sky, chunks of wood shrapnel flying in every direction. Sergio deployed the next, followed by two more, all within twenty seconds. Between the smoke trails and explosions below, visibility had momentarily been eliminated, prompting Sergio to descend through the black clouds of ash. They'd already planned on touching down and joining the festivities, and once they cleared the smoke, found the rest of the team pulling up in the trucks, jumping out and immediately opening fire. The store looked like a tornado had just pummeled it, piles of splintered wood and drywall standing in smoldering stacks while smoke oozed from the rubble. A handful of people scampered from the store's remains, promptly greeted by a shower of bullets. Sergio continued to lower the helicopter, and they touched the ground within minutes the blades swirling dust in every direction, their blaring sound drowning out the rapid gunfire that took life after life. Six bodies already lay on the ground, a few twitching as they clung to their last breaths. Three more rose from the rubble and darted away from the building, meeting the same fate as their friends before. I need to find Mario Webster, Justin said. We believe he's the highest-ranking revolter at this location, Sergio stood from the cockpit and opened the door, waving an arm for Justin to exit. He cocked his pistol before climbing down, but knew he wouldn't need it. His team had everything under control. He jogged toward the commotion, the gunfire having ceased now that no one else was dashing from the crumbled remains of the storm. If they hadn't caught a bullet, they were certainly suffocating under the debris. The thought drew a smile. The bodies lay scattered about the desert ground, and the first one Justin approached was already dead. But it wasn't Mario. He checked the two nearest, finding one with a face smeared in blood and soot, another gurgling on his own blood while gazing blankly to the sky, not even seeing Justin over him. Neither man was Mario, so he moved on to the next body and found his guy. Mr. Webster, Justin said with a grin waving to the others waiting nearby. They had instructions to clear the bodies from the scene by tossing them into the rubble, which would soon be doused with kerosene for a final cremation of the store's remains. You motherfuckers, Mario said through gritted teeth, his strong voice catching Justin off guard. He writhed on the ground, blood streaming from his left arm and right leg. Lucky man, Justin said squatting beside Mario's wounded arm, knowing he had no strength to make a move on him. You catch two bullets and not one seems to have sliced through an organ or artery. Maybe we'll pack you in a box and drop you at the doorstep in Idaho. How does that sound? Mario smiled, his teeth shiny against his ashy skin. You're fucked. You just signed the death warrants for all of your people here. Do you really think Chris is going to turn the cheek after you blew up his most prized building? Justin reared back a fist and slammed it into Mario's left temple, earning a satisfying groan as his head bobbed from side to side. He knelt closer to Mario, lowering his lips within an inch of his ear. I don't give a shit about Chris, he said. Your old man is on his last leg. Do you think we would knock this building down for fun? The end of this war is coming, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Mario rolled his head back to meet Justin's eyes, lips pursed before spitting on his face. Justin snickered and wiped off the spittle with his arm. I'll consider that a parting gift. Any last words you want us to relay to Chris? I'll see you in hell, Mario snarled. Understood. Justin stood up, pistol still clenched in his grip and aimed it at Mario's stomach, pulling the trigger and walking away. The entire team loaded back into the trucks, minus Sergio, who would fly the chopper back to Salt Lake City. The first domino had officially fallen in their mission to kill Chris. <laughs>